and typically we are on the campus of West Kentucky Community and Technical College. But starting tomorrow, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m., we're coming to you virtually. So in the meantime, we want to take you behind our doors and give you a tour of our center. We know most of you probably haven't been here before, so let's go! So we're going first into our exhibit hallway. So, oh, yeah, so on either side we'll have some displays. Can you tell us about why we're here? We are here um, because of the Challenger 51L crew. Um, after the accident, the Challenger accident in 1986, the families of the crew got together and created these Challenger Learning Centers. So our first display case takes you through that journey of how we got here. I was in high school and I remember there was somebody really special on board. Mm -hmm. She wasn't a real astronaut, but she was a... She was a teacher, teacher. Krista McAuliffe. She was going to be the first teacher in space. I remember that. So near and dear to us because the uh, majority of us here, we are former classroom, classroom teachers. And so definitely a big mission for us. Yeah. So what do we teach here? Well, a lot of what we focus on is STEM, so science, oh, technology, technology, engineering, and Math. So most of the things that you do when you come to the Challenger Center are going to focus on STEM. And we do that because STEM jobs are very important. Yes. And you have to have all those skills to be something like maybe a biomedical engineer mm -hmm. or an astronomer, an astronaut, or even a doctor. Yeah, and maybe you don't actually want to be an astronaut, but you still want to work for NASA. And we have a display here that tells all about someone from our area, Rebecca Winfield. She's actually a NASA flight director. She so works in mission control, she does. which we might see. We might see that exactly. in a minute. Oh, oh, what's that blue thing right there? That is an actual flight suit from Kentucky's only astronaut. Colonel Terry Wilcox. I love Colonel Wilcox. Yes, he's been here several times. Has he, he's been to space four times. So you can see each of our four patches. Remember that patches? You may hear that in one of our days. Mm -hmm. Now, Colonel Wilcox is no longer an astronaut, but he still works yes. for NASA. Very he has some big, long title, but basically he's in charge of safety yes. for NASA. So, what do you think is next? Well, ooh, our star stars. Ooh, let's go look at the stars, yeah. Commander Jennifer. So right mm -hmm. here is where I you see a star on your mission, right underneath our stars. So I do see a line in the Big Dipper. And I see a little bit of that one of my favorites. That's a little dipper. Yeah. All right. Hmm. We've got this fantastic mural here from the Food School of Arts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, hmm. These doors have something written on them. What are those? What does that say? Mission control. Oh, read it this way. Control mission. And that's what that mission control is. Do. So the mission control is where all of our missions are controlled, basically. Yeah. So each one of these consoles has a specific job for the mission, and each job is just as important as the next. Each one of these jobs has a corresponding job in space. So they work with um, their teammates to try to accomplish goals for the mission. So a lot of the research happens in here. They get a lot of the data from space. They research it and make sure everything's okay. A lot of our emergencies that happen it's solved here. are solved here. So lots of communication, problem solving, all those good 21st century skills happening right in here. What does LS stand for? Life support. Oh, that sounds yes, important. Very important job. All right. Wait a minute. Commander Jennifer, I see some wooden double doors over there that yeah. look kind of interesting. Let's go see what's behind right. those. Let's take a look. Hmm. So authorized space crew members only. Do you think that's us today? Uh, we've got uh, the time to say so. I think All right. right. You ready? All right. All right, here it is. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh, the transporter room. So this is where you would come to be transported into space. So it depends on where you would be going first. Any good astronaut has to suit up so you would find your suit in one of your lockers. You notice all those same teams have their own locker in here. Can I be Neil Armstrong? I'm afraid not, only one of them. 
has existed. I tried. It's not tried. us, unfortunately. All right, I'm on the yellow square. Yellow squares is where we go, so NASA knows that we are here for liftoff. And depending on where we're going, if we're going after comets, this spacecraft will take us to dock with the space station. If we're going to the moon, we're going to have a spacecraft. And if we're going to Mars, it's the Mars Transport Vehicle. So, this is where the action happens at first. This is where we lift off and we get out into space. But how do we work in space? It doesn't look like there's a lot of work going on in here. Hmm, I bet there's something behind the airlock. An airlock. Hmm. What's the purpose of an airlock? It locks air. What does that mean? Well, it's kind of air pressure. Us. Air pressure in space can be a little tricky. So we don't want to create a vacuum, mm -hmm. and we don't want the air pressures to change. So airlocks are special doors that keep the air pressure air pressure equalized and keeps it from changing. All right. What so you, safety yeah. game. So you want to go through? I do. All right. It looks a little dark. A little dark. Hope you're not afraid of the dark, because here we go. All right, let's see what's on the other side. <laughs> All right, are we ready? One, two, three. Oh, my goodness. It is. Right. So the welcome space station. to our space station. So, again, depending on where you're going, you may enter into a spacecraft or a Mars transport vehicle or the space station. And you'll notice around here, all those same teams that you saw in Mission Control have those same teammates in here. So right here where Commander Melissa is, this is actually our isolation team. You can see she's working with robotic arms. This is an important job. They study things like meteoroid shields to make sure there's no meteoroid showers in the area. They check out our radiation filters. We need to make sure the radiation levels are safe. And look at that. Ooh, am I gonna get it? I think so. Woohoo! Woo! Oh, That's all right. Yeah. I, can, I can still count the impact. Nice job. So this is an important job. We've gotta have some patience. Those robotic mm -hmm. arms definitely take some patience. And then here we're going to our medical station. Doctors on board doing some testing like oh. vision and hearing. I think I need some medicine. <laughs> oh. There you go. Program. room. What do you think the purpose of a clean room is? Ah, clean to keep, room? To keep things clean. To keep things clean. So only authorized teammates can be in here. They have to have on a clean room suit, a lab coat, to make sure they keep our probe clean. We'll be building that. Remote life support. We talked about them mm -hmm. when we were in mission control. Communication teams, data, and our navigation team. They are the crew that gets us where we need to go. That's a very important That's a very important job. Wow. So this is our space station. This is where a lot of the hands-on work mm -hmm. happens. This is where you get your hands in these glove boxes, mm -hmm. building things, working with robotic arms. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this, we want you to join us at 10 a.m. tomorrow for our first Challenger Connection. And don't forget, every time you post a comment, or something that we've mentioned during our Challenger mm -hmm. Connection, they're gonna get something. Gonna get they something. might, they yeah. might, they're gonna be entered into a drawing for a $50 voucher for summer camp. Any new summer camp registration. And so if you want to come do all this, sign up for summer camp. We're so excited. We are. We'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. This is Commander Melissa and Commander Jennifer. Over, over and out.